Hi everyone, this is Mass again and we are now about to talk about factory overhead. This time, pag-uusapan natin siya sa mas malalim na paraan. But before that, uh, may I ask you to please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave comments down if you find this video helpful or if you have any questions, um, clarifications or any concern. Basta makakatulong ako, I'll try my best and then um, you can share this video and then like it and that would be highly appreciated. So enjoy learning! So, ano nga ba ang factory overhead? Napag-usapan na natin to sa mga unang discussions natin sa introduction to cost accounting. So, factory overhead, ito yung mga ginagamit sa manufacturing other than direct materials and direct labor. So, technically, ito yung mga indirect materials at saka indirect labor. This include all factory costs incurred in the manufacturing process other than direct materials and labor. It is used to describe the indirect costs associated with manufacturing the products. It is also known as the manufacturing overhead, factory burden, and the indirect manufacturing costs. Normally, na-accumulate siya sa cost pools. Ina-allocate siya sa units na napoproduce during doon sa period na yun at charge doon sa expense account kapag naman um, yung mga naproduce na units ay nabenta na. So kasi, di ba nga, part siya ng product costs. Ang product costs, kapag nagawa ang um, mga products or kahit nasa process pa ng production or kahit hindi pa nagagamit, like raw materials, ano siya, asset siya. Tapos kapag nabenta yung product, doon pa lang siya magiging expense. Ito, examples ng mga overhead. Number one, for indirect materials, we have um, factory supplies, packaging materials, small tools charged to expense, cleaning supplies na ginagamit sa factory, lubricants, fuel, and etc. Next is indirect labor. Ito naman yung mga employees na hindi nagtatrabahong direkta doon mismo sa paggawa ng mga products. For example, yung salary ng production supervisor, mga managers, di ba? Um, Chine-check lang nila yung ginagawa ng mga employees. And then, factory payroll clerks. Ito yung mga nasa finance department. Quality assurance salary, receiving clerk, storeroom clerk, fringe benefits, overtime premiums, etc. Meron pang ibang manufacturing um, expenses or overhead like factory rent, factory utilities, factory building insurance, depreciation of factory property and equipment, we have factory property taxes, etc. Lahat ng cost na yun, kinaklasify as either fixed or variable overhead pa. Yung mga uh, overheads natin. And then, we have two ways of budgeting our factory overhead. Some are using actual costing, some are using normal costing. When we say actual costing, hindi ito nagko-consider ng timeliness. Tinatawag din siya historical costing system. Dito, nagde-determine siya ng uh, factory overhead as it occurs simultaneously doon sa process. Ibig sabihin, Unari, gumastos ako ngayon para sa overhead for factory insurance. So, ilalagay ko na agad siya sa factory overhead costs ko. Ganun yun. Kaso, ang total ng lahat ng costs na yun, ng mga overhead mo, malalaman mo lang siya once the operation has been completed. While, no, kapag gumamit ka ng normal costing system, nag accumulate ito ng factory overhead based sa isang predetermined overhead rate. Tapos, ang materials at saka yung labor, iniipon niya or ina-accumulate niya using actual costs. Big sabihin, kapag normal costing yung gamit mo, meron ka lang um, overhead na applied. Pero, ang materials mo at saka ang labor mo, actual pa rin naman. So, yun. Kapag kasi actual costing, 
mahirap siya sa part ng management para magplan at magdecide kasi nga merong delay sa pagdetermine ng overhead cost, di ba? Kasi kailangan nito matapos muna at saka makompleto yung process. So, pero appropriate tong actual costing sa direct materials at saka direct labor. Kasi madali silang i-trace sa specific jobs, sa products or services. So, when we say actual costing, actual materials, actual labor, actual overhead. When we say normal costing, actual materials, actual labor, pero applied overhead. Ano ba yung um, predetermined factory overhead rate? Ito ay ginagamit para mag-apply ka ng factory overhead cost mo sa products, service, or kaya naman job. Uh, kinocompute siya at the beginning of each period. Diba? By dividing the total budgeted overhead or estimated manufacturing overhead cost by an allocation base. It's either activity base or kaya naman activity driver. Merong mga uh, ways sa pagdetermine ng factory overhead rates. First is plant-wide or blanket rate. Kapag sinabi natin plant-wide, yung company mo dito gumagamit lang ng single overhead rate para mag-allocate ka sa lahat ng factory overhead costs mo sa products, sa jobs, or kaya naman sa departments. Ginagamit siya ng mga maliliit na companies kasi mas madali siyang i-apply at saka hindi siya ganun ka gastos or inexpensive siya gamitin. Appropriate siya para mag-allocate ka ng overhead cost using plant-wide if una, yung company mo nagmamanufacture ng similar products. Pangalawa, yung service na binibigay ng mga department sa loob ng company mo ay similar din. Tapos, last, yung total amount ng overhead rate na i-allocate mo ay maliit lang na kapag gumamit ka ng iba't ibang rates ay uh, mas maliit yung accuracy. So, the total amount of overhead to be allocated is too small that using multiple allocation rates to achieve a higher level of accuracy is unnecessary and too costly. Kasi di ba merong, eto, i-discuss natin ngayon yung gagamit ka ng multiple na overhead rates. However, if the company produces products that used factory overhead costs in different ways, plant-wide overhead rate may not accurately allocate factory overhead costs to products. So, yung isa, ang tawag is departmentalization. Ayan, departmental overhead rate. The company uses here one factory overhead rate for each department. This approach provides more accurate product costing kapag yung company nagpo-produce siya ng iba't ibang products na nagre-require din ng iba't ibang processes. Kasi yung factory overhead na nagagamit niya, nag include yun ng iba't ibang overhead cost at iba't iba rin yung relationship ng mga overhead cost na yon ng mga department doon sa mismong product or doon sa mismong process. So, appropriate na gumamit ka ng uh, departmental overhead rate kapag una, the company produce various products na yung overhead cost or yung nire-require, di ba? ay iba't ibang processes din sa bawat department. Pangalawa, yung company ay merong malaking amount ng overhead na i-allocate. At pangatlo, yung services na pinaprovide ng mga service department ay highly differentiated or iba-iba talaga. Ayan. So, let's start with um, problem. Problem solving. Tidy the ties a handout.